we're going to talk about changing the fuel filter from this VW T5.2. And this needs to be done, but it's very rarely done on these vehicles because people seem to forget about them. And let's get straight to the chase. So your fuel filter is down here where the, the pipes go in. I think some of the, the modern ones, maybe on the T7 or the T, later T6s, have got, I think they've got two, but these have got four. You've got four feeds into them. Now, let's, let me get this all out of the way so you can actually see it. But before you start this job, you really don't want to be waiting to then buy a filter. So you need to get yourself a filter before you start the job. Now, I've, I like to buy qualities. I've got Bosch filter here. I mean, you can buy, well, they're about 40 euros or something like, or something around that mark. Now, so you can see what you're talking about. So look, there you have the four inlets and outlets, etc. And they're all marked. So you've got VF, RF, so I can't see it, VMRT. I think the R's are returns and the V's are, well, yeah, so I think the VF comes from the tank. This goes to the pump, it comes back from the fuel line and, and that's returned to the tank. But what we'll do is we'll take it off here and we can see exactly how it's set up on here. Anyway, so that's what you should be buying. Get yourself a decent one, don't, I mean, because you, you can't see what's inside here. Obviously, a decent one. You've got less chance of it being, uh, this is a Bosch one, look, there's the, the code. All right, so let's put that to a side at the moment. Okay, first things first, we're going to take this clip off. Now, you, the way you take that off, it's got clips on both sides, not just one. You've got to squeeze it on both sides and pop that off. So we'll pop that off. So then we've got some torque bits there. So we're going to undo these two torque bits here. All right, with that moved out of the way now, you can sort of prop it up like that. You've got a proper view there of the filter. There's the filter. Now there's a clamp here. So we just need, I think it's a 10 mil, 10 mil socket there, a bit of a WD-40 on there. And we can undo that clamp, which should then make this at least a little bit loose, yeah? So before we take all this off, let's get let's get this clamp here loosened. It's a held nut there, so you just need to get a socket on there and then you just turn it, you need to worry about the, the nut side of things. So we're just gonna undo this and uh, we'll loosen that right off. Well, I've undone that as much as I can and that's loose there. That just gives you more, more room to play around with here because this has got to come up and it's gonna hit here and it's gonna be a little bit difficult. Right, now, when you look down here, you can see that VF is here. VF is a big one of those um, uh, inlet outlets. And so obviously, if you get that right, you can't get anything else wrong, because, you know, it's fixed. So that's big, that's small, that's small, that's big. Okay, so the two big ones go there, two small ones goes there, and VF goes here. All right, and the way you get these off is, look, there's a little blue tab there. We you push that in and then you can pull the thing up. I need two hands to do that. So let me push that in and pull that up. So that one there, look, you can pull, you can pull up, pull the clip off and it just gets it out of the way. So it's one less thing to get in the way. Then this one obviously just comes straight up and straight into there. So that's fairly self-explanatory. So we'll take that one off there. So there's a, that one, you push that one there on the side there. Again, I need two hands, so I might be able to do it with one. There we are, that's come off, look. See, that's a big one. So we'll put that there. So that, see, that's the big one, and that's a small one. So you can't get it wrong, really. So that's, that's VF, and that's obviously a big one. And that's at the back, and that's a small one. So I'm going to go around there, and we'll take all, all of those two. VM, VF, VM, RF. So you need to know, look, you, you can't get right it wrong. Right at the back there, that's RT. So the blue line at the back here goes onto RT. On this, which is a 5.2, look, that's a blue line. So the blue line goes right at the back Clipped there. all those out of the way. So now what we can try and do, look, that should be loose. We can pull this out. Now it's full of um, diesel. It's quite a lot of diesel in there. So uh, you, it's gonna hit here a little bit. So you know, have to push there. So let me just try and pull that out. And I do need two hands for that. So I can't video it at the all same right, it's time. It's a bit of a squeeze, but it comes past there, look. And now we can just pull this, pull this right out. So there are your old filters out. Now say that is full of diesel. So, uh, heavy actually so now what we're going to do is get the new one and put it back in its place so the reason that you change these filters because the tanks on these vehicles are plastic um, you're changing it because of the fuel that you put in there it's obviously filtering the fuel that comes through it and when tanks are metal obviously there were bits you get bits of metal going into your uh, fuel lines but now they're all plastic you're actually looking for the fuel so if you're in a country like we are here Germany Austria they've got really clean tanks generally or you're filling up on motorway type 
uh, petrol stations, big petrol stations with high volume of turnover, then generally their tanks are a little bit, little bit cleaner. Whereas if you're in a, some, if you're sort of filling up a bit more of a in local uh, fuel station, smaller ones, or in, you're in a country that doesn't have particularly uh, you know high spec tanks in there and everything, then then you're going to need to change these more regularly. But I'm going to do every hundred thousand. Saying that, this is obviously done at four hundred thousand. So yeah. Anyway, let's get the new one. All right. Bit of interest there. Look, this is a four. 12.15 so that filter has been in there since 2015 all right here's the new one going in remember vf sits there rt at the back rf at the front there and vm okay now i've just moved those up a little bit i haven't taken them off to move them up to make it a bit easier and then what we'll do is we'll just slide them back and if you look underneath it it's got a little catch a little little thing there so it fits in so let me just oh there look there we are She's fitted in nicely there, look. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is start tightening that up a little bit, and I just think these need to be... Oh, no, actually... Yeah, see that? There's, that's in the in this catch there now, look. I can't, I can't twist that. So I can now tighten that back up. So let me tighten that that 10 mil back up tight. Right, now that's in there. The pliers and pull those uh, caps on off. There we are. Off. Let's do that and we can then put that one back in. There we are. It's nice and tight. Then let's do the back two. So I can take I've got those strung up at the minute. I can take those back off and we put the remember the blue one goes on there. Well it has to because it's a small one. And the big one as it goes on VF. Okay, so now we're we're ready to sort of prime this. So I've actually put them all on apart from the vm so the v this is the from the tank the vf comes from the tank and the vm goes into the into the pump and everything so that's the one we've taken off so basically because i don't want to i don't want to prime loads of air into the system so what we're going to do uh, the first one i'm going to do is to show you how to use this with the software okay so that's connected that's connected that's connected so you just haven't got the vm connected i've put a bit of a rubber tube on there through there into a tap into and i'll just put the pliers there to hold the pipe there so it doesn't squirt so now we're going to go inside okay now you've probably got a liter of air in there at the moment because you've got an empty t uh, filter so that's why you don't want all that air to be going into there so anyway let's go inside and look at the uh, software okay we're inside ignition on turn your ignition on don't turn the engine off. i'm into vcds we'll go up to engine oh this might take a bit of time the basic settings and then if you look at the tests, go down to tests, you should see transfer fuel pump. Go to transfer fuel pump, just, just go. So you need to do that probably one, once or twice, about 30 seconds and you'll get your fuel back, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna do another quick one, just to show you again. Basic settings. Transfer fuel pump. Okay, I'm gonna press this go, and and it'll start it and as soon as i do that I'll, I'll switch to the pipe and as soon as we see fuel there we can turn this off right it's running now let's have a look as soon as we see fuel coming up that pipe there you are fuel okay back to here done go back right so we're going to shoot outside right there's fuel there look up to there so now what we're going to do is take off this pipe and put the uh vm connector back on so taking the i've taken the pipe off i've put that one back on there clipped it on tight so there, there was a little bit there was a diesel that came through there now the reason that you do all that is because you've got loads of air in there and if you it, i mean you can do this and, and connect all of them and then use the software you're just going to pump loads of air it's just going to be loads of air in there and air really damages your uh, ejectors if you run a lot through so best to just disconnect that one put a pipe on it pump it through into there and then when you've got a full pipe load of uh, diesel whip the pipe off and put that back on which we've done which is the minimal uh there's minimal air in there now so now if you want to and you've got the software you can run it again just to be doubly sure that you get it all out again um but it's basically doing that with a full filter now if you haven't got that software what you'll have to do is literally take these before you put the filter on uh fill it up with just a syringe through through the holes and just fit, literally fill it up that way till it's totally full but that will take uh, quite a lot of time but you can do it that way but then of course when you start it you are going to have a bit of air in the system 
so it might run a bit rough until it clears itself out. But if you use this, if you use that soft way, you see, and it clears it all out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this back, um, put this back on, and remember to connect up the connector on that. So let me do that. All right, that's all on back on there. Now what we will do is we're going to start this up and just check we haven't got any leaks there. So if, <clears throat> make sure that's all dry around there with a with a rag. And then we'll start her up and check. All right, I'm inside. I basically turned the ignition on and off a few times. As you can hear at the back there, it's just priming it. Or you can do it with the software. So if I go back onto the software here, we just go to basic settings, go to uh, transfer pump test, go. And that's doing it, look. Okay, you can hear it. All right, it's now just doing a test. Doing that for 10 and 20 seconds. All right. Right. So we stop that. And now let's just try and start her. Turn her off, turn it on. Oh, listen to that. Started first time. No hiccups. Now, if you haven't got this soft when you put, you've primed the filter, it will be rump lumpy when it starts. That's looking lovely now. I mean, let's just go and check underneath the bonnet that we haven't got anything leaking. If we look down there, look, it's all nice and clean. Yeah, it's not, nothing leaking there, but I'll go for a quick spin, a bit drive, and see how we get on. This video has helped some people out there to change your fuel filter. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Any comments, send me a comment. And just remember, you can do it, and we'll see you on the next video. Right, there's another reason to use the software for those of you who just think you don't need to... I mean, look at that, that's really interesting. Look, have you seen all that crud at the bottom of that? Yeah, now that has come out of the outlet which would have gone into the fuel fuel pump, fuel feed. See all those bits of shit? Now they must have come, come out from the manufacturing of the filter. So if I'd have just connected all that up, that would have actually gone into the... Uh, I'll go into the into the engine. So, so the best way to do it, obviously, is as I showed you there, is you put the rubber pipe or plastic pipe on the on the inlet to the engine or you know, VM, and then run it and clean that filter out. Look at that.